Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive drum, I'm sick. <laughs> he is. <laughs> You're the man on the sticks for I'm playing old. the Madden 20. Is that what's going to Yeah, the 49ers on Madden 20. That's, That's what, what we're I playing, because we dude. have fun. They heard it. Yeah, this is your team, dude. Look, oh. TNT Dynamite, head coach. Oh, Level oh, 7. Jonas, what are we... <laughs> is this what we're doing? <laughs> yep. <laughs> what episode is this? <laughs> 30, yes. something, seven, right. eight. I don't so know. Don't, don't patronize me or our viewership. <laughs> They're all like, I never realized the TNT Dynamo it was the coach. Hey the it is an anime, and I know since you've been watching anime lately. Yes, I'm, I'm a huge fan now. <laughs> since you've turned into a big weeb. No, no, I actually have a uh, body pillow with a cover of an anime girl in there. You have one of those? <laughs> now I do. I ordered six. Sweet. My whole bed is body pillows because I'd rather have the touch of a fake pillow than is, a real woman. Is it Usagi from Sailor Moon or is it uh, Kill a Kill Girl? Both. Okay. Cool. Both on one. Flip side, you flip it over. Yeah. So depending how I'm feeling in the moment. Are you not, you're, you're not a waifu guy, huh? You never, <laughs> I'm you ever, not an anime guy at you all. You never had a waifu? No, you've been watching anime. Jones oh, no, no. Like, I, uh, I've watched a little bit of Naruto. Yeah, a girl I'm hanging out with and talking to, she likes Naruto. And I'm like, sure, put it on for eating food. I'll watch it. It's. I mean, it's not It's not bad. It's just not, I mean, anime is just not my thing. Like, I don't mind it. Please? Last night, I saw the one where they went on their first mission. <laughs> we can talk about Naruto. Yeah, we can. I'll tell you because I know you're into it. All right. <laughs> yeah, man. You're going to tell me something and I'm just going to expound on it. And they're going to be like, these guys are weebs. But it, keep it going. Let's I go. I just uh, basically, uh, yeah, they uh, went on a, uh, a a really like weak mission of escorting and the guy lied and then just tried to kill him. I mean, that happens so much. Oh, yeah, yeah. But that was Naruto. that was like their first mission because like uh, uh, Naruto, he was all mad because he's like, I want to do real stuff, dude. And they're like. It's like, it happens so many times. It's like every episode is just him complaining about not doing good it's, enough stuff. Yeah, it basically. It's so funny because that is like the premise of so many episodes where it's like, I want to go on a real S rank mission. And they're like, no, you do the C, D rank mission because you're too young. And he's like, well, F this. And then they go. And then it's like, fucking freaking dang it and they're like satan himself pops up from the ground i know this like, last one was like this guy's like escort me and then they're like you didn't tell us that you didn't want to pay for a b-level mission you paid for you didn't tell us there was real ninjas trying to come yep. get you all of a sudden it's hitler in the third reich <laughs> right naruto has to take on hitler yeah and naruto Guess just kind of cowered and was scared and like the other guy did stuff he was like oh my god it looks like this guy's done this a billion times that seems like a, a, a going to be a growing trend, too. Yeah, that's pretty much a trend. Yeah, Yeah. well, I don't know. Um, My Hero Academia movie was pretty good, Jonas. Uh, okay. Is that like Naruto, or is it... Uh, it is... A, I, uh, <sighs> Base Naruto was really good. Shimpuden was really good, and then it started getting into a lot of like what they call filler episodes, because they base these off of the books. Okay. Like Naruto's a book? Yes, it's, oh, okay, it's cool. a, a manga. A manga, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's like a comic book, but they take their comic books a lot more seriously. Yeah, yeah. And I would almost say it's like the uh, the Marvel movies are kind of based off of the manga, but they don't necessarily follow the story as inherently as the, as right, the uh, right, animes right, right. do. They try to keep it true to like the actual literature. Yeah. Um, but all in all, it was a, it was a pretty good movie. I actually saw it in a movie theater, which is the first time I've ever seen like an anime anime like in a movie theater. Yeah, usually it's the peep show booth in hentai. Wait, whoa, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> whoa! I got good jokes today, folks. <laughs> I was, I was Jonas, laying them out before we got on camera. Jonah's watching a couple episodes of Naruto. All of a sudden, he's dropping hentai jokes. <laughs> Did, I mean, you never had a cartoon that you were like, uh, you were a stand for? It, not as an adult. I mean, uh, as as a kid, though. Yeah, dude, I love G.I. Joe. Like, G.I. I really love G.I. Joe. Like G.I. Joe was my jam. Like, the cartoon version of G.I. Joe was yeah. awesome. I really liked, uh, that was like probably my favorite. I was, uh, I, I, I love cartoons. What kid doesn't love cartoons? It's more about, like, what, how many men love cartoons. Why? I mean, but G.I. Joe is such a cisgendered male cartoon. There, 
was females in it? Dude, come on, dude. There was Lady Jane. I, she was a lesbian. <laughs> was she? Yes. Then that's not. Then that. that then that's representation of the LGBTQ community. Yeah. Which, that was like in the eighties when like that stuff was like nowhere near as accepted as it is now. And who's the other one? The other woman. Yeah. There Baroness was, the, was the uh, female. Was, was the bad? Was the bad? I was almost said bad girl. She was a bad girl. <laughs> oh, this dude. bounced nine times in the intercept. Did you see how many times that bounced? Baroness. It literally got tipped like five times. Baroness 100% could have got it. <laughs> Baroness? Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. She was Destro's girl, right? Yeah, yeah, dude. And spoiler alert, this is why I was upset with the first G.I. Joe movie is because they had her turn good at the end of the movie. Whoa. And I was like, Baroness never turned good. That's like saying Cobra Commander turned good at the end. I, I don't know. What's the source material? All of the cartoons? No, there had to be something prior to the cartoons. Oh, dude, Nobody just walked in with a cartoon idea. It was like, all right, we're going to have a bunch of guys. They're going to be in the army, and they're going to fight these other guys who are in a bad army. And they all just shoot lasers at each other. <laughs> and they never hit. <laughs> they're all the worst shots ever. Yeah, They was... have antics. They do PSAs about not stepping in puddles. God dang it. I swear, G.I. Joe had to be based on something. I'm just not <laughs> um, sure. Yeah, I, think well, it, I mean, they have the, they they have have been G.I. Joe dolls like, way back in the day that were like Barbies, but they were, they were big like Barbies, but they were G.I. Joe's. So maybe it came. From, maybe the doll came first to like be a male version of Barbie, and then they made a cartoon off of it. I think that is the original too, yeah. because yeah. I do remember like it was like super boomer culture. So you probably remember. Yeah, you know, because I'm I'm boomer to a do, uh, but I would think so because like I remember, um, like finding some like old like GI Joe toys that my dad had. They were full size like Barbie dolls. See, you are a baby boomer. You are almost as much of the same thing as me. Uh, yeah, no, there's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we've argued that point. Yes, enough. we have. We've you know what I do hate, Jonas? What's Look, that? Totally off the subject of anime everything and or and cartoons. Everyone. Yes, I hate everyone and everything. Except for our subscribers. <laughs> yeah, you I guys. I like 438 people. All of our subscribers. As soon as they click that subscribe button. <laughs> And then they watch at least 10 of our videos. Yeah. I don't hate them anymore. Yeah, so like you hate, you like all of them, and you like your mom and me. So 440 people. <laughs> yeah, you and my mom, you guys are all right, I guess. <laughs> Count both but of you, us as one person. You, anyway, you know what I do hate? What? All right, so I'm going, I'm on my way to the movies. It's way off in effing BFE. Oh, just north. Not really. It was, BFE, it was still like 30, 35 minutes. BFE for me to... normally constitutes the country. Well, it felt like BFE as much <laughs> driving as I had to do. Fair. And I'm like, you know, it's all freeway miles. It's like 30, 35 minutes. Movie's supposed to start at 8.15. Showtime says 8.15. The person yeah. that's meeting me there, they say 8.15. I get there at 8.16. I'm like, oh, man, I'm a little late. <laughs> 15, 20 minutes later. The movie still hasn't started yet, Jonas. Yeah, that's the time the preview starts. Why do they lie to you? Because they know people are going to be late. They no, 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 no. Because no. because they want you to see the advertisements. That is it. I need to know how delicious Coca Cola is. <laughs> you need to know about some trashy movie that's coming out. Yeah, or movie. how much popcorn costs to remind me to turn my cell phone down. <laughs> Let's all go to the movies. <laughs> With that being said, there is a new Scooby Doo movie that was absolutely adorable. Like at live action? No, it's an animated one, but it it, it kind of goes on to like when Fred and Scoob were like kids and how they met and stuff. Oh, nice! It was absolutely. I was going to get Matthew Lillard back for the live oh, action geez. movie. I hope not. <laughs> That's cool. I uh, don't like cartoons anymore. But I, I'm telling you, man. As they, I, I just uh, I've made it a point now that if I go to the movies for myself. You, yeah. you look at that, that start time, add 20 minutes to that. Yeah, well, I know that every time that we've gone to the movies, you're like, I'm not leaving the house till the time it says the no, movie starts. No, because you know what I find myself doing a majority of the time is I'll go to the movies and then I'll sit there. We'll get there a little early, or when I get there a little early. Get there five minutes early, you're sitting for five minutes. And then it's cold as hell. They got the lights on. Everybody's just yammering. So I'll put in some earbuds. I'll start watching something. And yeah. then they'll start rolling. Then the lights go down. I'm like, movie time. Nope. Advertisement time. So they start playing a bunch of freaking advertisements for movies that I don't care about. But, you know, they're kind of close to the movie that you want to watch. I don't want to see that ish. So I find myself, like, looking, like, am I going to actually watch this commercial? 
And then I'm like, no, and then I'll just turn something on YouTube. Or I'll start scrolling through Reddit. Yeah, you know what? But you know what, man? I used to love going to the theater early and watching the previews. And you know why? What what has changed? I think is that back then there wasn't really a way to like go watch movie trailers unless you saw them on TV or you saw them in the movies. But now you can just go on YouTube and watch channels that just have movie trailers. So I don't need to go watch them in the theater because I can watch them at home. But you're who, no, you do not just sit at home watching. But movie you can trailer. if you're like, oh, I want to see this new th trailer. Yeah, but they want to ram them down your throat. Oh yeah, but like what? I, I guess my point is when you were when we were younger, we sometimes didn't even have ways to know movies were coming out until you went to the theater and saw a preview. And you're like, oh my god, that movie's coming out. That's awesome. Like, well, I feel like they have answered a question that nobody asked <laughs> because now I'm at the point where I don't care what movies are coming out. Well, yeah, I mean, because the movies have been trash for like a decade. Other than the Marvel movies. Yeah, you know I love those. Yeah, and like, I don't really go see them, but I respect that they are well-made, good movies. But other than that, everything's a remake, dude. I wouldn't even say it's that. It's just that if a movie is in my wheelhouse, then I will learn about it through word of mouth or through the media that yeah, I ingest. True. That's true. But, but yeah, well, but that's because of the internet. I mean, back in the day when we were kids, I mean, you didn't have that. Yeah, but we ain't there anymore. So cut some of these oh, yeah, commercials out of my movies. You know what I did see? What? The new Candyman's coming out soon, and Jordan Peele produced it, and I saw a preview, and I'm totally going to go watch it because I freaking love Candyman. Yeah. That, I mean, I would probably see that. Do you see Chris Rock is doing the Saw? Oh, I did see that. The tra the trailer looked really bad. though. <laughs> like, it looked it look real bad. I can't imagine Chris Rock. Like, he must... I think they said he was, like, a big fan of the Saw movies, but, like... Yeah, apparently. He's not, like... I, I just can't take him serious as like in a dramatic role as like a oh, lead detective because he's been typecasted most of his just life. Like his, whole, like his whole career, he's just been like the goofy comedian, and he wants to show up and be like serious. Like, come on. I mean, Adam Sandler did it. He really went from the the slapstick goofball to like doing like serious stuff. But I'm still disappointed that we never saw Uncut Gems, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll run it when it comes out on. Uh, uh, pay per view. I want to watch it. It looked it look good. I know one thing from Uncut Gems, and that is this is how I win. That's all I know. Cool. I know he. Uh, I know he uh, does things, <laughs> and that's what I know about it. <laughs> this is how I win, Jonas. Yeah. What did that's he do? A, I don't know. <laughs> is that how he won? You don't know how he won. You just know he won. It's a complete non sequitur. I just know it's from the movie. Oh, okay, cool. I mean, I like I like sequiturs. And non sequiturs. No, Jonas. No. Oh, penis in the penis. Got it. Yeah, dude, we win. <laughs> but yeah, I do like going to see movies. I still haven't seen Sonic because I was going to go see it the other day. It showed too late. Yeah. I, I love going to the movies, man. There just hasn't been enough stuff that I want to like spend actual money to go see. Because it costs a lot to go to the movies now. Like, and if, if like I have a question about if the movie's going to be worthwhile at all, I'm like, eh, I'm good. I mean, if you just do, you, are you a snack sneaker? You sneak snacks? No, no. I normally buy something there because I usually just get popcorn. I usually get candy, so I usually don't get popcorn and a drink. I used to be, but I mean, anymore, I'm like, I like, no, I not like I have tons of money, but like I'm like I can help the theater out and buy popcorn. I'm a hundred percent a sneaks a snack sneaker. I would definitely, like, well, I should say back in the day, I would go to, like, Burger King, and I'd get, like, a... <laughs> oh, you would take, like, a Whopper in there? Take a whole combo in there with me. Might just sands the drink, of course. Oh, okay. It'd be kind of hard to slip a drink past the... <laughs> Sir, do you have a fountain drink in here? No. Get out though, of here. Though I have a slid a fountain drink down my pant leg, <laughs> and then just, like, take a coat and just kind of, like, cover it up, I have definitely done It's like that. you go through such, like, feats to save, like, a few dollars. <laughs> and the thing is, is that they don't care. No, no one's going to stop you and no. kick you out if you got a box of Juju Beats in your pants. No, like, that 17-year-old no. ticket taker does not care. <laughs> He's like, I do not care at all. <laughs> He's like, here, do you want, I have some Jolly Ranchers, right. do you want those? I could walk in with like a hot plate and a bag of groceries from H-E-B and he's just going to be like, whatever, man. <laughs> yeah, whatever, don't burn the place yeah. down. Yeah. <laughs> There's an outlet on aisle six. <laughs> I was going to tell you. There's an outlet right over there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're just making pancakes for the whole theater. <laughs> I got onions grilling and yeah, shit. Yeah, 
Hey, who want a hot dog? Yeah. <laughs> that would be, dude, that would be awesome. If you had like a hot dog vendor in the front, dude. Hey, that's we're gonna. Make that's a actually a really that's good our idea. New dad, that, like you just walk. It's like a snack stand built in. That's actually a really good idea. But the movie theater oh God, I went to got last night penetrated by three boys. The movie theater I went to last night. It was it was pretty swanky. It wasn't like an Alamo. A brew, a brew flicks. I don't know. Flicks brew house or whatever it's called. No, it wasn't anything like that. It was just like a basic movie theater, but they did have like the uh, reclining seats. Oh, yeah. But it didn't have like like the Alamo. We have a movie theater called the Alamo Draft House that's uh, in the vicinity. You can order food. You can oh, just like yeah. tap a button and like a lay a garçon will come and assist you yeah, with your garçon order. Garçon does come. You can get like drinks, like adult beverage. Yeah, yeah. Flix Brew House is like an Alamo kind of. It's it? the same similar concept. No, this one wasn't that good. It did have the reclining seats, yeah. which I thought was really cool. But I was sitting right next to like some stranger. But uh, we never made eye contact. <laughs> you guys just t- held hands the whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> we both were just like reclined in these seats, like literally like half a foot away from each other. We held hands for a little yeah, while. Yeah, dude. I mean, it's safe. I, I, dude, I hate the assigned seat thing. Because I like to go in and judge where there's no one at and sit there. Like, I don't want to like pick a seat. and then I, Like, I have, I have ordered a ticket in like all by myself on the end. And then some a hole picks the seat right next to me, and, I, and the whole theater's empty. It's me and one, like maybe me and just them, or me. I'm with someone else, and there's like four of us sitting in a group, and the entire theater's empty. And I'm like, why did you do that? I didn't even pick the prime like center aisle. I want to be by myself. That is that is proper movie theater etiquette. It's like it's urinal like, etiquette, man. You never sit next to somebody. Do I avoid people like yeah, the you plague? Yeah, you seat at minimum. Yes. One seat minimum if you do not know the person. And one row minimum. Yeah, dude. Like, Don't sit in a row behind me, right behind me. Um, yeah, unless the theater's packed. Then I get it. No. <laughs> then you sit on the floor. <laughs> you go sit in the corner because I got here yeah. first. Yeah, sorry. Go give. Go get your money back for your ticket. <laughs> yeah, dude. I can't. Piece of crap. Dude, I can't do. I just, I don't like. No, it's not to the point where like I'll see a theater that's super crowded and I will like just like turn around. Right, 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 right. Because once I'm there, I'm there. Yeah, exactly. But me too. I will do everything in my uh, pot. Like, I do everything in my power to go at show times when there won't be a lot of people. I like to go like if a movie I want to see opens on Friday, I'll like to go like Monday or Tuesday at the latest showing because then there's like nobody there. See, I like I like the early shows. I like to get the movies. I like to get my I watching like experience. Kids at the movies. There's no kids at the early show. Yeah, That's there is. Dude. That's when Grandma takes them. The kids are at freaking school, Jonas. They're- oh, during the I got to work, bro. Like, I don't. We all don't have. We all don't have Monday afternoons off. Who the hell is getting their kids up at the ten crack o'clock? Of noon? I don't know. At probably- ten o'clock to go watch freaking uh, a Marvel movie. Nobody's doing that. If I, I would. No. I'd go in and ruin your time on purpose. <laughs> I would I would think it's that prime time to take kids to the movie theater is like uh, three? early evening, like around three to like five, six, seven. Still get the matinee at like three, and then you're out by like five, go get dinner, go home. You have your night. The kids can go in their room for the rest of the night, Boom. lock them in. Boom. There you go. Yeah, dude. So I like to go to the movies before before noon if I can. You know? Oh, it's early. It is early, Jonas, but you got to get that viewing experience. I mean, so the can... early bird does get the worm. <coughs> so. How are you going to, like, remember it? If I'll you never go, remember if anything. You go and see it early, late, Jones. You're gonna see it all late. I forgot gonna... my mind shuts off at 9 p.m. I can't remember anything. You're gonna come home and then you're gonna go to sleep. You get no time to ruminate on the movie. Is that what you do? Do you yeah. like write a like journal entry about it? <laughs> <laughs> Your diary. No, I saw... but I like to savor the savor movie. Savor the flavor. movie. What if it's trash? Then I like to savor the bad savor experience. How, how terrible you felt about it. Yeah. I hated every minute of this movie. Yeah, dude, I like movies. I don't know if I've ever sat around and actually thought about a movie. I don't know. That, no, uh, I haven't. No. And I think, and like, I, I know some people like to have, like, conversations, like a book club when they're done, when they see a movie with friends. Oh, yeah. So what did you think about the movie? What did you think about the ending? How did you think of that plot twist? I'm like, yeah, I, my pinky and drink I, some tea. I've 100% done that. <laughs> I, I mean, used to go and see, like, all the movies that were new to the theater, and then I would talk to it about it with my friends and I would give every movie a grade 
and we would actually like have like a little discussion. We used to do that. Yeah. Really? Yes. Which, with uh, with the people that I knew, or with like the other friends, like like Wes and those. Oh guys no, people? these are my black friends. <laughs> 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 I mean. On that note, <laughs> that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. You'll never meet them. You, <laughs> <laughs> they don't know about you. Uh, uh, if you've already done that, just tell everyone to come see us. We just need all of your friendly support. But for Jonas and TNT Dynamite, we'll catch you on the next one. We are outa.